Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come like a cherry pony. Come like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time in this channel, run over and subscribe for us. And then after you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to the Lips family. Now, our channel name is Lips, and it's spelled L-L-I-P-S, and it stands for Living Life in Positive Serenity. Now, we know you want to do that, so come on and join us. Make sure you do what I just told you to do. But if you don't, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell. You have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> How y'all doing today? Happy Monday, happy Monday, happy Monday. So, you guys, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to let you know what we have. We're going to pray and then we're going to get into the food. So, this morning, we're just having a simple breakfast. A simple old country lips breakfast. We have, right here, we have fried green tomatoes. We have uh, cooked fried beef sausage and scrambled eggs. That's all we have, y'all. Over here to the side, we've got Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. You guys, Big Ben is full of red Kool-Aid. Because that's what I wanted today. I've got ranch dressing over here. I've got the lips hot sauce. And i got some cayenne over there, but I don't think I'm going to need it. Let's pray and let's get into the food. Amen. Okay, you guys, look. So how y'all doing today? Y'all doing all right? Let me give y'all the first bite. There's some eggs. Color may not be that good. Y'all know we got the jalapeno too. So look, y'all. I just came in the hell. A little simple breakfast. That's the fried green tomato, y'all. Have a little simple breakfast with you guys. Good morning. Y'all excuse that. A little lips over there playing on the computer. Mmm. Y'all pieces that fried beef sausage. They real good. I got my ranch dressing over there. Just in case I want it for. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. So look, y'all, check this out. Mm. Before I go too far, let me make sure I remind you guys, or I tell you, you guys, we have another Legion member that has asked us to pray for them. And that is Miss Mel Tabe. Miss Mel Tay says she's going through something and she wants to pray for you. You guys just make sure we do that. And I definitely will be praying for you, Miss Mel. I love you all. And I'll definitely be praying. Um, that God dispatches angels in your favor, baby. I'm praying for you. Legion, don't forget to pray for Miss Mel Tay. On that video. Mm. So on that video, the person know first was Miss Zalia Butler. I love you, Miss Zalia Butler. I appreciate you so much. And thank you so much. Y'all like fried green tomatoes for breakfast. So how y'all doing this morning? So I hope everything is all good with you. So look, we don't have an adult beverage today because for me today is Sunday. 
So let me tell y'all what I've done today. So today, me and my husband, and let me, tell, let me put some red dress on him. Me and my husband, and little lips, y'all, today, we went to see the Lion King. You guys, it was really, really good. We went. Mmm. Mmm. You guys good. It's really good with that red dressing on it. We went to see the Lion King today, y'all. And it was good. It was good. We saw it in 3D. We must have a nine. Movies that are available in 3D. Generally, that's what you want to see them. It was in 3D. You guys, it was good. I enjoyed it. I had heard like mixed reviews about it. Some people say it was good. Some people say it wasn't. Some people say it wasn't worth it. Me and my family, we truly enjoyed it. We sure did. We thoroughly enjoyed it. We really did. Ugh. Well, y'all was on there. Some fried green tomato with ranch dressing on it. I already put ranch on it now. Mmm. It's good. So I decided we didn't have breakfast in a while. So let's have us a good old breakfast. So the movie Lion King, the lips, when the movie was going through, she kept taking her 3D glasses up and down, up and down, up and down to see what it looked like, you know, the difference in the two. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. So, are y'all eating with me? What's y'all having for breakfast? Huh? I hope y'all eat with me. So, like I said, you guys, I'm going to get back to the movie in a minute. Today is Sunday for me. Because I had to record this for you guys. Because I have a doctor appointment this morning for you, Monday morning. Like I said, that's why we don't have any dub berries. Mm. So, you guys, we were supposed to go live now to you yesterday. Which was today for me, which is Sunday. But y'all, stuff went on, stuff happened, and me and my family were not, uh, we, we weren't able to go live for you guys today. I underestimated, I did not know that that movie was going to be that long. Y'all, when, when you go to see the movie, make sure you got some time now. Because that movie is long. But I really, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really did. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I ain't going to say too much to spoil it for you. But I enjoyed it. I really did. As a matter of fact, when we were getting ready to leave out of there, a little lip looked up at me and was like, I'm finna start crying. Yeah, it was good. Like I said, we saw it in 3D. Y'all know the piece there? 
It's good. Fried green tomato. But you know, it's just good to me because I'm allergic to tomatoes when they're ripe. So it's very few ways that I can eat a tomato. But everywhere I can eat it, it's got to be cooked. Mmm. Mmm. I gotta go to the doctor today. Today for you. I'm gonna go to the doctor to get my injections that I have put in my back. That's what I'm having done today. By the time you see this, I'll be just about done. Because my appointment is at 745. So, by the time you see this, I'll be just about done. Well, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. A beautiful day. As I said, after I remember that I had a doctor appointment, I had said I wasn't going to put a video up at all. But I cannot and not be here with y'all. So I said, let me just go and have a simple breakfast. Simple little breakfast. I had a little breakfast with the lady. Mmm. And it's good. It's real good. So like I said, I want to apologize to you guys because me and my family were not available. We were not able to go live on Sunday. Like we were supposed to. Or like I had informed you that we would. Because things happen here and there, y'all. Y'all know how stuff go. We got out. You know, because Little Lips are finna get ready to go back to school. So we got out. We was shopping for shoes. We get there. She don't like the pair I like. I don't like the pair she like. My husband's in the middle. But at the end of the day, she got what she wanted. And um, we was able to Get school shoes and get that out the way. And then now, let me tell you what happened to me. So, we went to one store and we had tried on shoes, and Little Lips really, really loved them. So, y'all, with that being said, she loved the shoes, so she said, I, She wanted to wear the shoes out of the store. Of course, fine with me, no problem. Well, when we left that store, the shoe store, there's a grocery store, Kroger's, that's not far from my home, that's like right up the hill from it. So we go to Kroger, we get out. I get in the little buggy, you know, we ride on through the store. We get what I need and everything, because I had to go and buy some ranch dressing, because I wanted some ranch on my tomatoes, uh, the, the fried green tomatoes. And um, anyway, to make a long story short, we go through the store, we doing everything we doing. We on the way out of the store. Y'all, be before we left the shoe store, I wanted to go to the Nike outlet across town before I actually made this particular purchase. So what I done was had the clerk to hold the two pair of shoes. No, it was going to be three pair of shoes because you bought two. And then after you bought two, you got $10 off of the third pair so I was just going to get her a pair of like sandals for the third pair, knock the $10 off, and I would have got the sandals for like four or five bucks. So we do that, y'all. So I told her just to hold them for me, and I would come back and get them. Now, Monday, this morning, when I got from the doctor's office, I would just come and get all three pairs of the shoes because I wanted to go, like I said, to the Nike outlet. Y'all, fast forward on back till we go to the grocery store up the hill, and uh, we're on our way out. We get what we need, and we're on our way out. So on the way out, y'all, guess what? Y'all, I didn't realize Little Lips got the shoes, the new shoes, because she, I told you she wanted to wear them at the store. Y'all, la, la, la. Baby, I was on the phone with Sam's World, and I was sitting there debating because the girl, 
that was in the clerk that was in the store. She was so sweet to us, y'all. She was so sweet. She may be watching this because uh, she subscribed to the channel. You guys, she was so sweet. She was so lovely. And the manager, was, she was okay too. But, y'all, I'm sitting outside the store. Right. I'm on the phone with Sam's World. And I'm deba debating about this. Because I'm saying, well, first and foremost, I'm going back in the morning to purchase all three pairs of shoes. And Lil Lip's original shoes, which were also brand new, by the way, were in the box. So, I'm thinking to myself, if I go back and say something, will I get the clerk in trouble? You know, because she let us out of the store with the shoes. So, I'm sitting there debate, debate, debate. But now, I got, I got to take these shoes back, but I just don't know whether I'm going to take them back now or, or then. Or am I going to just wait in the morning and not say anything, go back and buy the three pairs of shoes with Lil Lips' old shoes in the box and everything will be fine. Well, anyway, neither here nor there. We went on back and took the shoes back. So, and the manager was so kind. She was so, so, so kind. Which brings me to the point of the reason why I went through all this anyway. She was so, so kind. And she was like, thank you guys so, 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 so much for bringing the shoes back. She was like, um, even though, you know, you guys shop here, um, and I know you would come back. She was like, but you just don't know how much that touched me because people come in, they steal things, you know, people just aren't honest these days. And now here I am y'all on the outside thinking, you know, I was thinking so, so, so bad of myself. And I even told Sandra what I was like, does that mean that I stole it? Because technically I didn't pay for it before I left the store, but does that mean that I stole it? You know, just thinking through my head because I, y'all. I try my best, anything and everything that I can do in the right way and be right about it. I try my best to be right. I try my best to. And I didn't want to get the clerk in trouble because she was so nice, but I knew I had to do the right thing. But at the same time, do you see my dilemma? I didn't know whether I was going to get the girl in trouble or whether I, I just didn't know y'all. I didn't know. So y'all tell me what y'all feel about that. Y'all tell me what y'all feel about it and what y'all would have done. We went to the store. We tried on the shoes. Little Lips had the shoes on. Her old shoes were in the box, which was still a brand new pair of shoes, but they didn't go in that box. So we leave the store. She's got the shoes on. We don't know if she has them on. I figured out, would you have went back uh, and took the shoes back to rectify the situation, or would you just have waited till the next morning? Because you were going back to buy them anyway. Y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feel about it, and I'm going to see how y'all think about it. Be honest, too. So, y'all, like I said, I just came to have a simple breakfast with you guys this morning. Uh, by the time you see this, like I said, I'll probably be getting out of the doctor. You guys, when you do see this, I don't know what is happening because I don't know what time I will be out of the doctor. So you guys, please pray. Be praying for me. Make sure that everything goes okay because they are going, you know, put needles down into my spine. So with that being said, I love you all. You guys, this is the kind of little different show from that we're used to having. But like I said, I just wanted a simple breakfast, you guys. I should have had some orange juice, but I didn't. I wanted red Kool-Aid. I wanted red Kool-Aid. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed the food. The green tomatoes were lovely. They were really, really lovely to me because I don't get to eat tomatoes a whole lot. So anyway, to make a long story short, I love you guys. I love you all. Tomorrow... We're going to be back with another show. It's going to be a great show. I think it's going to be a challenge. Because I've got two challenges that we're going to do this week. I think. I'm not sure. But I think so. I'm rambling on now, y'all. Because I love you guys. And I want to come and spend a little time with you. I love you guys. So, again, Zalia Butler. You guys don't forget to be praying for Mel Tate. And in closing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, y'all. You guys, remember. When obstacles come up in your life. Always remember, there's always more than one way home. All you decide to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. I'm going to see you guys next time. Y'all, go and check out The Lion King. I loved it. And watch it in 3D. With that being said, if you're not here to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. Bye-bye, you guys. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. I love you all, Legion. Thank you.